Welcome to today's episode of Tech and Toys. Now this is another purchase that we made from Wish. This is separate to our part two of our Wish video, but we thought this would be dedicated to today's show because it's such a unique piece of kit. Now this is a holographic LED fan. This is a commercial rip-off of a genuine product called Hyper VSN. So we're gonna unbox this, plug it in, get some content running on it, and give you our feedback on what we think it's like. <laughs> So holograms, it's it's a bit of a gray area. So holograms realistically can't be made fundamentally. But you know, the, the sort of thing you see in Star Wars. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Can't be actually created because there is no way to stop light at yeah. a certain point. Um, what these do uh, is create the the sort of visuals that look like a hologram where something's floating in air but most of you have probably seen these sort of things before as uh, a fan that shows the time going around there yeah like a, a persistence of vision yeah, style exactly i mean this yeah. is just fundamentally a yeah. bigger version of it um but uh, yeah as far as it being holographic i think that's probably fairly loose to be honest yes um it is. you know we're, we're certainly not going to be um asking Obi-Wan Kenobi um, for <laughs> his uh, help. Um, but yeah, no, I think we should uh, we should certainly we plug should it in, in and uh, and have a look, see, see, what, yeah. see what this comes out like. Just to give you a side note, we've used the real genuine versions mm. of these commercially and they're pretty good. You may have seen them on other YouTube videos. So how this thing at 80 quid compares, we'll find well, out. Yeah, certainly to, uh, uh, you know, Hyper VSN's pricing, which is uh, per fan. I know, I know the Hyper VSN is a lot higher resolution than this. You know, uh, the Hyper VSN is like uh, 700, 720p uh, per unit. These, these, uh, well, I, I, I think this was 250 pixels wide across the whole fan blade. Yeah, so it's not so going to be quite gonna the be... same resolution, but, you know, I, I'm interested to see if it creates a similar visual effect being yeah. that the, they're like 15, 1600 quid for the uh, Hyper VSN ones. And you have to pay additional licensing fees for the content, for the content to, to, to go on them and yeah. things. Um, so uh, let's mount this on something and, um, and, it and, and see what it's like. So we've got the fan set up, as you can see it's going around playing our logo. We've put this black cloth behind um, just to give it a bit better contrast for the camera. Yeah. Um, so I'll pass you over to James and give you a bit more technical detail on how this actually works. Okay, so fundamentally you've got the two blades and LEDs running across the whole way. And simply speaking, as the blade rotates, the LEDs go on and off, um, only coming on at their correct position during its rotation. So if we slowed this right down on a slow-mo camera, you would see the blade spinning and as it gets to this point, a blue LED would come on and then go off as it passes over to here and back on for the logo and then off all the way around to here and such forth. So, uh, you know, it's actually a very clever bit of kit and, uh, you know, the Chinese haven't done a bad job of completely ripping off someone else's idea, but um, it does, you know, it does actually work. The only problem is, Compared to something like Hyper VSN, uh, this isn't spinning at enough speed. It's also only got two blades, whereas the Hyper VSN unit has four blades, giving twice as many pixels. And you will see that in the shot you're looking at, you can see it flickering ever so slightly. You don't see it quite as bad in real life, but for a camera, we'll pick it up mm. quite badly. So we've actually had to adjust the shutter rate of the camera we're filming on now to compensate 
because if I put it on automatic, it looks awful. You see a lot of missing parts of the imaging, and that's just where the, sh the, the shutter rate of the camera is not matching up with the number of rotations, the amount of times the pixels mm. are going on and off. So um, I tell you what, I would not like to catch my hand no. on this. I was going to say, when I first got it out of the box and switched it on, I was holding it in my hand like that, and the gyroscopic forces of it, it hit me on the arm, and it, it was quite painful. Yeah, so I'm not we're surprised, standing, yeah. And it's Chinese, which means it could explode at any second. <laughs> Um, uh, and on this background, the blades are actually really difficult to are, see because those blades are, are obviously black. So, you know, the resolution's not brilliant, but we are talking about something that is, what, 1 20th of the cost yeah, exactly. of the real deal. So, actually, you, do you know what? It's not that yeah, bad. Yeah, it is. And from um, a software perspective, it came with an app for your phone, which was from a dodgy, non-sanctioned yeah. um, application store. So it wasn't Google Play or the Apple store which was a little bit worrying and yeah. it came with a piece of PC software called 3D something or other um, and it enables right, you to basically right. take any video or still image yeah. and convert it and upload it to the built-in SD card yeah. over Wi-Fi or you take the card out physically um, and the end result is what we've got here. This yeah, is so fundamentally part. this logo is actually rather than having transparency it is simply on a black background because obviously black is not played out by LEDs so they can't emit a black colour they're just not switched mm. on and that's what gives it the transparent effect. So anything in here that is black, i.e. the buttons on the left-hand side of the, uh, the logo there, they're just not lit or, up. They're just not lit mm. up. So, uh, you know, you can quite easily create these. And I'll, I'll be honest, the software was pretty yeah, easy was to use. You know, you just highlight. And don't forget, this is a circular image. You can't produce a square image. So if you put something that's full, a full image on here, you will see the full outline of the circle as obviously it won't display a square image. So there we go, it's not hologram, uh, but it kind of does the job it's supposed to do and, and for 80 quid, how long did it take to get here? Uh, it took quite a long while, all of that beginning of May and it arrived on two days ago. So it's taken over yeah, six weeks to get here. So yeah, but a long time. 80 quid, it's a lot cheaper than the 1500 quid for the, it is, for the it, real deal. It came with an SD card and it's got Wi-Fi built yeah. so you can wirelessly transfer your videos and pictures, etc. Yeah. Um, I think it's it's not a bad solution for a, a cheaper version, like you said, for a little shop that wants this sort of yeah. thing on there. But realistically, for 80 quid, I'd probably just go and buy a second-hand 32-inch screen or something and mount yeah. it on the wall. It'd probably and, be uh, easier and more reliable. Yeah, more reliable. The only good thing, it is, does cool down the room because it acts like a huge fan, <laughs> so it'd be good at keeping the bin cool when we eventually pop it in. Yeah, which will be as soon as it blows up in yep. a couple of days. So thanks for joining us again, yeah. um, and we shall see you on our next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, we shall see you soon. Adios.